The History of the Asgard O'Neill Class Ship The O'Neill Class Ship was the most advanced warship in the Asgard fleet, and the first series of Asgard ships designed solely to fight the replicators. Its length is 1500 meters, its width is 700 meters. It has sublight and Asgard hyperdrive engines. Fuel is Naquadria. It has neutrino ion generators for the power plant and Asgard shielding system. Its countermeasures include self destruct and explosion suppression system. Armament, four ion guns. Minimum crew is none. Other systems include transporter arrays, five primary and ten secondary. The O'Neill class warship was named in honor of Jack O'Neill of the Tauri. O'Neill class ships dwarfed both the Prometheus, 304s, and Hatak class vessels in both size and firepower. These vessels carried the most advanced weapons created by the Asgard, excluding their plasma beam weapons, which were developed later after their participation in the combat against the Ori motherships. The O'Neill class replaced the other ships of the Asgard fleet when engaging hostile forces. These vessels were powered by an unknown number of neutrino ion generators and possessed 15 Asgard transporters. The O'Neill class shared the same aesthetics as for other Asgard spaceships, with smooth curving lines and parallel sets of projections. O'Neill class ships were highly maneuverable, as witnessed during the battle of P3Y229. During the battle, the participating O'Neill class vessel was seen making sharp turns at high speeds and engaging in dogfight style tactics despite its massive size, which in part allowed it to fare better than the other vessels of the Allied fleet and was the only vessel that wasn't confirmed crippled or destroyed in the battle due to its massive superiority over the Hatox and 304s. O'Neill class vessels incorporating the most advanced technologies the Asgard possess were among the most powerful ships in the known universe. Only the Ori warships designed and built with ascended knowledge were proven to be a match for them. Even then, the only time an Ori warship bested an O'Neill class vessel, it had the advantage of numerical superiority, 4 to 1, and it's unknown if the O'Neill class was actually destroyed. Before their Mass suicide, the Asgard developed a new alloy comprised of a combination of Naquita, Trillium, and Carbon, creating the strongest material the Asgard knew of and used it to create the hull of the O'Neill class vessels. The shields of the O'Neill class were some of the most powerful ever designed, capable of withstanding multiple hits from both the central beam weapon of the Ori warship and its secondary pulse weapons, both of which were capable of destroying a Hatak. The O'Neill class was armed with four powerful ion guns, designed to penetrate the shield systems of both replicator ships and Anubis's upgraded Gwald shields. The ion bolts fired by these weapons were capable of refracting to bypass the shields and strike the target multiple times. These cannons were the only known energy weapons capable of destroying replicator blocks, which have traditionally been impervious to energy weapons through sheer kinetic force and were also implied to be powerful enough to counteract the upgraded shields on the Anubis attack, although it was never demonstrated. Thank you for watching the history of the O'Neill class warship. New episodes every Saturday. Please share, like, and subscribe. Have a great day.